my gosh, you guys! You guys, we're here! We're in Al Samhara or something, whatever. I'm, I'm, it's Egypt to me. It's Egypt. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, there's like, there's like a little, a little spot down there. Oh my gosh, look, you can see little, little ruins that you can dig through. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be like one of those annoying people who takes pictures of everything because this is the very first time I have ever been here, and this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is base camp, and we have our three wonderful Sims here. We left the baby at home with a babysitter because I don't think the scorching hot desert is the best place to bring a toddler. Oh my goodness, Darian, you might need to change. I think you might get a little bit overheated. He, oh, all he wants to do is like pick up his daughter. Every single want he has is pretty much related to his daughter, his baby toddler. I'm hoping he'll be okay and everyone can just adjust to, to being here. Let's see, become friends with who? Oh, that's so sweet. She wants to become best friends with Darian. And she, you, <laughs> Zelda, why do you keep rolling the want to befriend a fairy? You have a mother-in-law who's a fairy. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna ignore that for now. You already have an after school activity. Oh my gosh, so she's hilarious. And meanwhile, we have Miss Gina over here who wants to collect three common relics. So this is probably a good place to be uh, wanting to do that. Don't know about wild horses. You can't tipple your toddler right now. I'm sorry, you can't buy her a toy box. Oh my gosh, that's like so sad. The, the first thing they're thinking about. <gasps> it's a cockatoo. I thought this was like, oh my gosh, Zelda, Zelda, come here, come here. It's a cockatoo. Befriend the cockatoo, Zelda. I thought this was like some sort of, of relics to dig in. No, this is a wild cockatoo just sitting here, just sitting here, minding its own business. Okay, okay, we're at base camp. Give me just a second. Base camp is your Sims home away from home. This is the place where Sims can take care of all their basic needs. Check the adventure board for local adventures. Oh, this is so cool. Look at our little fairies. They look so out of place in such a dry oh, spot. What? Mm. What do you mean we can't befriend the cockatoo because of this tent? Ugh. Oh, Darren, oh, yeah. I'll leave oh, and I can't move the tent. Darian, why are you casting magic on things? Oh, you have to double check. Oh what he's doing and Gina what are you reading Gina's listening to tab cast Darian's like casting magic he's conjuring apples for fun he's just sitting there conjuring apples oh but he's in love oh that's adorable what are you doing I guess I guess Gina's trying to help Zelda cool off because she's casting chattering teeth Oh, hey, and there's like some adventurer just running by. Bonjour Junfoy, adventurer. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Darian, what are you doing? <laughs> I guess I swear that this was Eugenia's way of trying to help Zelda cool off. She's like, oh, it's a little hot, huh? Here, let me help. Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Bims and shims. Oh, you too. You too. Oh my gosh. Okay, somehow Gina improved her fishing skill. Um, and everyone's visiting here. No, I don't want to learn about mixology. What does that have to do with the price of rice right now? Who knows? Who knows? All right, and what's this? So Gina wants to visit a market, and really, we're kind of here just to, to like, see the exotic things, collect the exotic plants, stuff like that. Where would a market be? So we'll have Gina go and visit a market, and... We might have Zelda do something really, really silly, like, oh, is this a house? Okay, I think that's a house. This is probably a house, too. This looks like a house. Is this a market? It looks like a house. What about this? Oh, what's over here? Who's this? Specialist merchant. Oh, I wonder if this is, like, the market. This looks like a market. Yeah, okay, let's have her come over here. Stop casting. Gina's like, it's too hot. I'm going to cast chattering teeth on everyone. Oh my gosh, Gina. And then let's have... Zelda has improved her fishing skill to level 3 by doing what? Zelda, what are you doing? She's rant ranting about being out of shape. Zelda, you're a special girl sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh. And meanwhile, the, the cockatoo is just like Dad. listening to it. All right, let's get you guys doing something useful. Zelda, Darian, I'm gonna make you come over here. 
Stop considering the hollowness of life and do something useful, like check for adventures. And Zelda, I'm gonna make you do something useful, like look for rare animals. So let's see if we can have her find any, should it be seeds or, hmm, crystal plants. Let's have her look for seeds. Let's see if there's any seeds in the area at all. There might not be. What? There's not any- Oh my gosh, look at these! What's over here? What's- what are these? Oh, look at all these relics we can dig around in! Business abroad. Muku- uh, Mukuru Corp is working on business opportunities within the Egyptian government to find three ancient relics in Al Simhara. The work will be dangerous, but quite profitable. Interested Sims should report to Ahmed Diab for more information. All right, let's go ahead and do that because what we want to do is we want to have uh, Darian go around and he needs to look for a mummy. They're actually here not only to find some rare and exotic plants and animals, but they're also here to try to find a mummy nanny. So that's that's one of our goals. Meanwhile, Zelda is getting out her little pygmy dragon. Oh, I guess this would be perfect for her pygmy dragon, though. He probably would be so excited. He's like, oh, it's the perfect temperature. It is nice. It is warm. It is much better than usual. There you go, little guy. Just don't escape. Also, I'm so, so frustrated that that cockatoo won't just... Darian, did you just whip your broom out? He did just whip his broom out. This is so funny. Talk about a supernatural take on, on this trip. So I don't think... Oh, there's a fishing spot over here, though. Zelda, go, go up here. Maybe we'll find something useful up here. Wow, it looks pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <gasps> It's such a beautiful little oasis. Zelda, this is gorgeous. I have never been here. All right, meanwhile, Gina is just dancing, casting chattering teeth on everybody. The general goods merchant is just looking at her like she's Nutter Butters. All right, and then we've got a specialty merchant. And we've got a food merchant. So do we speak to the specialty merchant to like buy something from him? Hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. Buy items. Let's see if there's something like special that he's got. And then we'll have Gina go and start looking for relics. <gasps> Is that a snake? Oh no, it just looked like a snake. I'm so excited about like special exotic animals. Alright, what's going on over here? What do you sell, sir? Uh, Is Darian checking in? Darian! Report in! Apparently to this fine gentleman, he, you shouldn't be worried at all, sir. Darian's just uh, trying out <laughs> his magic. He's like, yes, this is this is the appropriate thing to do when traveling abroad. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool. Oh, neat mummy snacks. No one likes to be starving. Just think what it feels like to be dead and not eaten for hundreds of years. The scent and taste of this specialty concocted snack is more than enough to keep mummies off your back. Don't leave home without them. Visa level too low to purchase. Not enough coins to purchase. Ooh, so we're going to have to earn some stuff, huh? Oh, that's so cool. The Sultan's Tabernacle. What? Escape Dust. Tears of Horus. Ooh, that's what we want. We want to get mystical artifacts imbued with uh, om omniscient knowledge of Horus. Activating it will allow you to see what Horus sees. Dig sites and relic locations will appear as map tags on your map view. <gasps> That's so cool! I want mummy snacks too because we've got to feed. We've got to like feed our mummy nanny that we're gonna we're gonna bring home with us. Darian, report in. Stop playing with magic and report into this fine gentleman right here. And Gina, we're gonna get Gina who's down here, we're going to have her go to that dig site. I did see some relics. Oh, look at the pigeons. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I've never been here. This is just so beautiful. All right, let's find some, some relics. I'm pretty sure I saw some relics like down at the park area. Are there any over here? No. But I know I saw some down over here. And it's like this is a nice little, this is a nice little spot. I wonder if anyone like owns this or we're just allowed to like roam down here. All right, let's have her excavate. And then we might have her do some exploring. Speaking of which, how's, visit water in the sand. She's still working on it. 
An introductory test. It's most excellent to see a fresh set of hands in Al Samhara, especially magical hands, really. I suggest you visit the market before you venture further to purchase a tent, some dried food, and a shower in a can so you don't end up starved or smelly amongst the dunes. Here's some dry food. Awful tasting stuff, but it will keep you alive. I need you to take care of a small errand for me. I accidentally left some papers in a nearby tomb. Go to the Tomb of Discovery, buy my papers, and bring them back to me. You will be compensated. Then I will give you a more exciting task. Aw, uh, no problem. Darian doesn't even need to, like, grab anything seriously because he's he's a wizard like a witch so he'll handle this Ooh, there's a little park Ooh, there's like a tomb over here too oh my gosh there's like so much stuff there's a little park right here there might be a, more stuff to like excavate <gasps> Gina you're gonna have a great time we're just gonna have to figure out like we're gonna have is this it introductory test tomb of discovery all right we got this all right, so the Tomb of Discovery is like right here. Oh wow, it was like right next to the base camp. Didn't even know. Oh my gosh, the rocks are so pretty here. Unbelievably beautiful. Zelda, are you at your spot yet? It takes her a while to put over here. There you go, sweetie. Are you still, she's still going. I think she like stopped off here and then just kept going. It's like a little little stop off spot. Gina, meanwhile, is just driving her Jeep, which she brought in her car, in her pocket, I mean, and just flying across the open dunes. Oh, we're gonna have to have her investigate over here. Oh, this would be so cool. Look at all these spots. This is perfect for a mad scientist like her to come and, and start searching for things. Oh, so fun. Darian, what are you doing? He's like, should I go in? Yes, Darian, you should. All right, let's see, how does this work? Do we just go down? Oh, well, that's not concerning at all. I mean, come on, it's just like Bonehilda's cousin taking a nap on the floor. <laughs> that's, we shouldn't be worried about that at all. Don't you guys, don't you guys worry. Let's go ahead and read this. What does Darian wanna do now? Ooh, he wants to visit the Sphinx. So we're gonna gently take away. Ooh, he wants to fully explore too. Um. All right, we're gonna take away the fact that he wants to use the procreation elixir and go to fully explore too. <gasps> Look at the treasure, there's some coins just on the ground. Don't worry, Darian, we can always just cast like curses on anything that tries to mess with us. Got some coins, oh yeah. Ooh, look at all that. I mean, sure, we shouldn't be that excited. Darian has the Philosopher's Stone, but still, it's, it's sometimes it's the thrill of the discovery rather than actually anything else about it. All right, let's go ahead and insert that. I don't think this will be too, too complicated. Gina's excavating. We'll have Zelda start fishing as soon as she gets to that super far away spot. Let's go through the door, Darian. What's next? All right, pretty clear that we just need to stand on this thing. Zelda's still trying to get to that spot. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's not good. See, it's just Bone Hilda's, like, mother resting. We shouldn't judge. Maybe this is where Darian's family comes to get all of their mystical companions. All right. Are you almost there, Zelda? Poor thing. She's just having to really haul bunny hunkers. Meanwhile, Gina's working on excavating still. <laughs> Darian wants to play with magic. It's kind of what we're doing right now, dude. All right, pull far. Okay, stop. And then pull far. No, Darian, dang it. All right, push. I wonder if he's gaining like his first little bit. No, Darian, don't push like that. Oh, okay, we'll get this. Push. Uh-huh. There you go, dude. Stop. Stop pushing. And then pull far. He's like getting his first little bit of actual physical, <laughs> physical work. He's like, ugh, why can't I just cast a levitation spell on this thing? Poor Darian. Gina, you having any luck? Oh, she's playing in the ocean. Gina, what are you doing? She wants to buy a snake charming basket. Are you kidding me, Gina? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll get that. And she wants to catch a goldfish. Did you get anything? Okay, she got a whole bunch of common relics, actually. 
Let me come down here. Yeah, she got three Egyptian relics, so she can take those to work for a great work opportunity. Well then, you know what, Gina? If you want to come over here and you want to fish and you want to play and you want to windsurf, you go for it, lady. Because I think she actually has to get her fishing skill up to get promoted. And meanwhile... Oh, there we go. See, this kid knows where it's at. She's even standing in the shade! Look at Zelda! She's just chilling in the shade, not even worried. So we're just gonna leave Zelda and Gina to it. Oh, what's this? Is that more stuff to excavate? <gasps> Ooh, more stuff to excavate! So we might have Zelda excavate that later. Do we see any little animals? No, but there's lots of rocks. Sweet! And while the girls are busy fishing, we're back down in the depths of the earth. Unlocking the tomb with Darian. So let's see. Stop Darian. Okay, there we go. Let's continue to explore. How many coinages do we have now? Do we get any coinage? Who knows? Who knows? It's hiding somewhere. All right. So let's go ahead and... No, not push. Let's go ahead and pull. Unless there's like a spot right under it. Hmm. There you go, bud. And stand on it. Yeah, I think this is his very first physical challenge ever. Poor Darian. Alright, we'll go through the door. Keep going, dude. Yay! So we have fully explored the tomb. Nice! Let's see what's inside. We'll open this up and then we'll head out. So we'll get the paperwork. Not bad! We'll have to see if we run into our mummy nanny. Do you get more stuff? Alright! There's an Egyptian broken pottery vase and some briefing. Step one's done! So we'll have him deliver the briefing. Now let's go check on the girls. How you doing, Gina? Catching anything interesting? Any rare, any rare, any rare fish? Also, I was told that there's actually a large aquarium where we can stick a whole bunch of our fish at once, and I hope that's true because I would be so thrilled. So thrilled. But it looks like they're gonna have a nice relaxing vacation. And we're gonna make Darian do a little bit of, come on Darian, go deliver the briefing. A little bit of the, the hard work of zipping around and exploring tombs. But I'm pretty sure Jaina will want to join him in the pyramids next time because she will want to do some interviews for mummy nannies. So, well, I'm just gonna sit here and admire the beautiful fish and cross our fingers for some rare ones. Oh, look at those little guys. <gasps> oh my gosh, look! It's a little crocodile! It's a little crocodile! That's awesome! But alright, I'm gonna admire the little crocodiles swimming around in the Nile. And hopefully we can catch one to take home. And I will see you guys next time as we continue the North Star's absolutely awesome, absolutely adorable little adventures. So I'll see you then. Bye bye